this is a recommend e-bike, um, my third bike now in the spotlight presented um, to you. But in 2020 I was looking for ways to go further on the single charge and uh, still be uh, comfortable. I um, did various tests on the enduro bikes like um, lying on the bike and other bizarre things that were quite dangerous and probably uh, <laughs> illegal. That's where the idea came to um, buy me a high quality recommend um, bike um, after weeks of surfing the web. I um, came across a dealer completely by accident and they had a sale on demo bikes used a couple of times with accessories such as mud guards and racks for 2200 euros. I uh, also have a separate video on this uh, which you can find in the description. It is Nazca Gausso Touring um, bike. Um, what makes this bike special it is that it uses chrome moly um, steel which is more resistant to vacuum. Most companies offer bike on aluminium frame which is not bad for average person. Uh, steel may a bit uh, heavier but uh, when it comes to electric bikes a few kilos won't add anything. For me as a replacement for a car I ride for 10,000 kilometers a year, I needed something more durable because on heavy batteries and load I have to carry around. A funny fact about this type of bike having a ride and two wheelers as a standard all my life, uh, I had to learn to ride again as the balance feels completely different and took me maybe 30 minutes max to get the balance right. As has become tradition with the most important thing, the motor. Initially when I got the bike I used the Buffunk BBS um, 02 750 watt meat drive motor. I rode for 2000 kilometers and sold it another YouTuber whom I randomly met on the road. I don't have a single bad word to say about this particular motor. It had a lot of moving parts in the motor and often needs maintenance since I'm mostly a hand throttle guy then a direct drive motor is the best choice robust and foolproof simply put put the motor and forget about it motor is 1000 watt emsus from Aliexpress priced at 350 euros including the controller pass display and delivery one thing I don't understand is how such durable and robust motors are that cheap. Again, like um, direct drive motors on my other bikes, this uh, one needs to have the spokes suggested at some point as they go loose while driving, so um, uh, spoke friends should be at hand. The motor supports free hoop and cassette solution. I use a 9 speed cassette myself. Uh, here, what Freehoop looks like. I ordered this repair kit from Poland, um, where you can buy different spare parts for this motor in case you need to change a part in the future. For the tires, I use 26 inch times 1.5 Marathon Mondial, both front and rear. This is my Dini electric box where I have fitted the basic electronics. This controller is pretty big, uh, 20 amps nominal and 40 amps max. It also has auto risk function and the controller runs motor very quietly and um, so you can't hear the motor noise very happy. The only flaw is that the doors um, not support regenerative braking. As it my sundry uh, bike, I ride mostly in the countryside. I don't miss the record braking that much. After five minutes, if there's no movement, uh, the controller shut itself off. No uh, setting adjusting option, um, uh, sadly. I use the popular Canadian made Cycle Analyst version 3 as my board computer, probably the most 
teacher rich e-bike computer in the world at the moment. It was not very expensive either, indeed, it can be connected to any controller. You just have to choose the shunt version or buy separate shunt as I have here. I um, originally had it on enduro e-bike, but this bike needed it more. It has separate speedometer cable, here are three knobs with three modes that you can make crazy settings on, for example, uh, some of them either limit the speed and the power in terms of watts or amps and limit all in detail or do it all at once. Um, I limited the total power to 750 watts uh, as I don't <laughs> really need more. At the moment I configured the following modes 250 watts, 450 watts and the third one 750 watts which I use quite rarely. With this motor kit I choose the cheaper device without display to which the motor on and off. It also has three speed selection which I never use. If you use psychoanalyst you don't need that expensive display thingy. The Sigma computer measures speed, time, total distance and how many kilometers have been covered in given month. And you can dock um, two bikes, simply choose bike 1 or bike 2 in the setup. Uh, the statistics are also in memory for bike uh, 1 and bike 2 respectively. 12 volt motorcycle cigarette lighter to charge your phone and camera. Of course there's the bike bell required by law and a phone holder which is essential for navigation or just uh, listening um, to music. With this I turn the lights on and off. Speaking of lights, um, the front has 12 volts walk lights with three modes and the original light that came with the bike, the current is connected by the dynamo inside the front wheel hoop, outputting a current of uh, 6 volts. This uh, dynamo is pretty powerful. For safety there are AliExpress side lights on both sides. And of course brake lights. For brake lights I use high and low level trigger system. As it is an electric bike, what about the batteries? In building my own bikes I have chosen to have the batteries be the same voltage which is um, 48 or 52 volts. So then I can put those batteries here. My current favorite is the 2 kW capacity 10 kilo Panasonic battery pack which can put in a homemade um, fiberglass box. And for longer trips I also use another 1.6 kW 8 kilo Panasonic PF battery pack which can be put on the side of, of the bike. When I got the bike uh, it came with the default mod cords and they work when driving at low speed and were not designed for faster rides. My clones and bike were covered in thick mud when riding 30 km plus in rainy weather. As a solution I decided to make glass fiber wheel art and I got the idea from Russian e-biker Fuzz R7. I had never done fiberglassing before, so first wheel art didn't came out very professional, <laughs> but it works. I use Gibson board for the mold. There are also a video about it, link in the description. The rear wheel art is more professional and just nicer. This art really protects bike from the dirt and give unique look. I'm very pleased. I've always found some kind of windshield. I have experienced with different solutions from cardboard thingy that was once <laughs> a self bottom to a fiberglass solution. I recently found the discarded motors bike um, windscreen from an abandoned building in pretty good condition and with a bit of modification now mounted here. Two problems with it um, in the summer when it's 30 degrees and you want to do a workout, 
uh, you can get heat stroke because the wind doesn't go through and then the summer when it's foggy the glass gets foggy and you can't see anything through i think some sprays prefer walk uh, with cold and wind like is now is very much needed when driving um, it takes the loud wind noise off uh, which can be distracting after a while all in all 40,000 kilometers covered with no problems broken personal distance record every year at the moment it's 361 kilometers per day but there will be a new video soon where i break this record by a lot really comfortable bike and also attracts a lot of attention some people laugh at your bike or position you ride in or people who really enjoy it it's definitely worth bearing in mind when you're buying it um, thank you for watching and i see you in the next episode bye